So you want to make embers in Blender 2.8 EV. Hey guys, one by Test by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to create some embers. I do have an embers video, but it is very old now. I think it was 2.78 last time, uh, I, I remember anyway. But uh, we're doing it today in 2.8, so let's get started. I want to go ahead and delete default cube, I'm sorry, and the lamp. We're also going to go ahead and uh, select our camera, hit Alt-G, Alt-R to clear the rotation and location. RX90 on my numpad, left the click to confirm, GY to move the camera backwards, and zero to go into the camera's view. Metamouse button to pan around our scene. Now, we can go ahead and hit Shift A and go to Mesh, add in a plane, and it S to scale this plane up. Um, now, I don't want it to be this thick, so we're going to hit S, Y to scale on the Y axis to make it a bit thinner, and we'll hit GY to move it upwards a little bit, just something like that. Yeah, and then uh, we'll hit GZ to move it downwards, hit 0 to go back into our camera's view, RY to rotate it on the Y axis, because I do want them to be coming from a, from a specific side. I think I'm going to do it from this side, because on the other tutorial, I think we did have it over here. So we're going to go ahead and do it from this side over to here. To, over here today. I'm going to S to scale it up just a little bit, and I want to have it just off the edge of that camera right there. We'll have a little bit of padding room, just in case, you know, something weird happens. But, uh, but yeah, so we're going to have it right there. Uh, which looks pretty good. Now this plane is going to be upside down, so I'm going to hit R, uh, so I'm going to hit RX uh, 180 to flip it the right way, then hit R, Y, and then we'll just rotate it backwards like that. So now it's actually facing upwards like this. Um, you couldn't tell before, but it, it was, just trust me. <laughs> we'll go to the particle tab here and hit a new particle system. We'll go and drag this open a little bit. Now what we're going to be doing for this is we need a couple of things. So we need to turn the gravity off. Uh, so, no, where am I at? Field weights. Uh, we will turn the gravity all the way down to zero. And we can go ahead and also turn our in frame down to 100 because 250 is too long. Now we can also go ahead and go to velocity. Actually, wait, wait a second. No. All right, so let's go ahead and rotate, rotate that backwards. I'm ahead of myself. All right, so it was facing the right way because I already rotated. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do now is we need to actually go ahead and add a new object to take place of the halo objects that you can that you see right here. Because if we were to render this, you would you would you know have nothing to see. So we're gonna we're gonna hit Shift A, add in a mesh, and this will be a circle. Uh, now we don't need too many vertices for these because we're, they're gonna be kind of small. So we're gonna change this from 30 to 16. Um, and we're going to change the fill type from nothing to in gone. Now, we can go ahead and uh, make sure that we pull this back behind the camera. So, G, Y to move this backwards. Um, and we can hit S to scale it down just a little bit. And R, X, 90 to rotate it so that it's facing upwards like that. Uh, now, go back to our plane and we can go down to render. Uh, change this from render as halo to render as object and then go down to the object panel here change the instance object to circle because that is now the circle that we have there and you can see that this will instantly change but there's a problem because they're rotated like this uh, that's not what we need we need them to look like that instead of like that so with uh, object rotation and boom now they're rotated the right way around so we can actually go ahead and change the size of the scale up a little bit uh, so we'll just bump that up to 1.10 Point, uh, point one ten, yeah, sure. And turn the scale randomness all the way up, just because embers are always uh, random. Uh, we'll go ahead and do something like that. Uh, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit further down. All right. I also want to go up to the velocity tab here and change the normal to maybe two, and change the randomize to point five. And let's give this a little play real quick. Um, so that's looking pretty good so far. They might be a little bit, a little bit too fast. So we'll go ahead and put this to one point two instead of two. Um, and I think that looks much better now. They're kind of dying right there, so we need to change the lifetime up to 100 as well, and the in frame to 100 as well. So now we have more particles because it's now emitting all a thousand in the set time frame that we have, which is one to 100. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn the number of embers down to maybe 600. Um, and 150 is kind of short, so let's actually bump this up to 150 instead of 100. And then we'll change the in-frame to 150 and the lifetime to 150 as well. All right, because I kind of want to see them, them, you know, taper off and stuff, and we don't really have that effect right now. So that looks, that's fine. There we go. That's much better. Okay, so we're looking good. I want to do a couple more things, though, um, because, my friends, I want to go ahead and scroll. We can close all this now, so we don't need to worry about any of that. Um, I want to go and open up the physics tab here and go down to the Brownian, Brownian, you know what I'm saying. And we'll change this to maybe 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05
0.05, maybe. I just kind of want a little bit of sway on those. Maybe just an even 0.1. I want them to be more... It's going to be a lot. I want them to be, like, really embery. So what I'm going to do is we'll go ahead and... I want to turn that down because they're going to... Oh, it's way too fast. They're, they're still going too fast for me because I want them to kind of slowly drift up. Um, so I'm going to change the randomize to 1, which is probably going to be too much, but we'll turn it down from there to 1. And then the normal, we're going to turn it actually down. Actually, yeah, that's way too much. Let's go ahead and do... Let's put that back on 0.5 and then we'll turn the object velocity up to maybe 0.3. Um, so I'm thinking that looks fairly decent. Let me go ahead and select the camera because it's kind of difficult to see right now. And then we'll go to the camera tab, turn viewport, dis uh, go to viewport display, go to passive part out and turn that all the way up. Um, so we, we can only see what the camera is seeing. All right. So that looks pretty good. I like it. Um, let's go ahead and do a little bit with the materials now. We'll go to the rendered viewport shading tab up here, which is just this little button at the top. We'll go down to uh, the world tab, change the color from gray to black. Now you can't see anything, but that's okay. I got you covered. We're going to select our circle up here, which we can double tap to click and rename Ember. And we can rename plane, um, uh, fire, uh, uh, floor, uh, Ember, uh, shooter. Yeah, that's a good name. We'll select the R Ember, and then we'll go to the material tab here and hit new. And then we can go ahead and change the base color to something like a uh, orangey, an orangey something like that. And we will change it. Actually, we'll uh, I want that exact color. So we'll go to the hex value. We'll click that and hit uh, Control C to copy that. Because when we change this to the principal from the principal to the emission, it's going to get rid of that color. So we'll select that. Go back to the hex. Control V. Enter. Now we got that same color, which is nice. All right. So we have that. But the problem is, it's all orange. It's all the same color orange, which is not really what I want so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna, actually first we're gonna go to the uh, scene tab here scroll on down to color management and change this from filmic to default because I, I hate that so let's go ahead and pause it right there now you can see like I said the problem is that they're all the same color so we'll go ahead and select our our ember hit shift D to duplicate G X to move it over and then we can go ahead and hit this little this little two icon to change the color to maybe a little bit more of a yellowy and then we'll hit shift D GX to move it over again. Hit this little two icon. Change this to maybe a more red like color. And then we can go ahead and name all these. So I just named this one yellow. We don't have to, but I will because we never do. Uh, red and then um, uh, pink. Yeah, that's pink. Don't don't tell it's not pink. All right, it's pink. If it, if it, it says it's pink, it's orange pink. We'll go ahead and go back to our plane here. Go to the particle tab and scroll on down to where we inputted the object. So render. We'll go from render as object. We'll go to a collection. Now we have to fix up a collection. This is pretty much like a group before if you're used to old school Blender. We'll go ahead and select all the embers. So we'll select that one and hold down shift to select the other ones. Then we'll go ahead and hit uh, up at the top. There's a couple ways to do this. But up at the top you can actually go ahead and go to uh, collection and then move to collection and then we'll just hit uh, 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 new collection right here and we'll call this collection Imbus. There we go and we can hit OK on that. Now with our plane selected we can go back down to the render tab here and change it uh, from collection right here and then go to instance collection and select embers. Now all of our embers will now be visible all together which as you can tell is all three of the different colors which is super sweetness. So if we play this you can see that we now have all three of the different ember colors all being emitted at the same time which is nice. Now because they're all the same size still it doesn't look as variated as is possible. So I'm going to go ahead and do something here. I'm going to I'm going to scale down the yellow ones, I'm going to scale up the red ones and I'm going to scale up the orange ones. Ooh. 